Hello and welcome back to The Road to Good Cooking. A couple of weeks ago I made a video titled Salsa Two Ways. Yesterday I received a call from one of my sister friends in California and she said, and I'm quoting, Josie girl, I love that salsa video but come on girl, you got to show us how you made those taquitos. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you how I made my ground pork taquitos and they were really good too. Taquitos can be used as an appetizer or as a main dish. You can serve them with all your favorite condiments, just make them tasty for your family to enjoy. Here's how I made my ground pork taquitos. Now let's get started. Here's my ingredients. I'm going to be starting off with three dozen fresh corn tortillas I uh, picked up the other day at my uh, local Mexican market, Mariana's. I have one pound of ground pork, which I always have ground pork on hand because I make a lot of my, my own sausage. And I also make my own taco seasoning, which I keep a big jar of in my pantry all the time. Uh, I'm going to be using my roasted garlic that I made oh, a couple, couple weeks ago. And I also uh, roasted some um, red and green and yellow bell pepper. Here's my cilantro leaves that I'll be using. And I'm using a half a cup of diced um, onions. And here's some lime. They're not going in the taquitos, but I'm sure they're going to find their way into a libation that I'm going to be making to go along with my taquitos. <laughs> First, let's chop the cilantro. Now I'm going to slice and dice my roasted bell pepper. A couple of months back, I did a post on my blog titled Roasting Bell Pepper, and I'll post that link in the description box below. Now I'm going to chop up the garlic and incorporate that into the uh, chopped bell pepper. My veggies are chopped, now I'm ready to start cooking my pork. I've added my uh, ground pork to a small saucepan, now I'm breaking it apart. I'm going to add my diced onions, mix it until it's well combined. Add two tablespoons of the uh, taco seasoning and I'll post my recipe for my taco seasoning at the end of the video. Mix it until it's well combined. Now I'm going to add my chopped veggies and I'm going to mix together until it's well combined. After I got everything all mixed up together, I uh, tasted it and decided that I needed another little pinch of kosher salt, so I added a pinch of kosher salt. And then I mixed together until everything was well combined. I covered my cooked brown pork with the lid, now I'm going to go on to the next step. I placed my large skillet over medium high heat and added just enough canola oil to cover the bottom of the skillet. When my oil was nice and hot, I started adding my tortillas one at a time and I'm going to leave them in this hot oil just long enough to make them nice and pliable so they're easy to roll. Alright, I got all of my shells done. Now it's time to start filling them. I'm using a, a heaping teaspoon of the meat mixture and then I'm going to roll them up real tight um, just like you would a cigar. Now I have on rubber gloves simply because these shells are really really hot and I don't want to burn my fingers off so that's why I have on gloves. Roll them up real tight and then I'm going to put them in a pan seam side down and keep right on going till I get finished. All of my taquitos are rolled and I have them in this pan here with seam side down. And I'm going to take out probably six of them today and I'll cook those up and store the rest and put them in individual serving bags 
and that way if I want some taquitos I have them on hand. Now I had some tortilla shells left over so I cut them up in little triangles and uh, when I'm ready to have a little snack I can just fry them up nice and crispy and then I have me some homemade tortilla chips. Before I started frying my taquitos I made myself one of my favorite cocktails, mojitos, and here's how I made it. Here's my limes and I'm going to be using uh, club soda and aromatic bitters, a little couple of drops of those at the very end. I'm going to be using uh, Captain Morgan white rum. Whew, yes indeedy. Some simple syrup, lots of ice, and some fresh mint from my garden. My garden is doing really good this year with fresh mint. So that means lots more mojitos on the horizon. Perfect. I reheated my frying pan. Now I'm uh, frying my taquitos and I'm going to fry them until they're golden brown and crispy on both sides. Then I'm going to remove them to a paper towel, let them rest while I put all my condiments together, and then it'll be time to dig in. Okay, it is time to eat. I've been waiting for this all day. So I'm going to take one of these taquitos, put me a little crema on there, some of my homemade salsa that I had left over. Check this out. Mmm. that crunch? Crunch for days. Mmm. Here's something fun to do with the kids. Take a romaine leaf and splatter it with some salsa. Some of that crema. Mmm. Lots of cheese. Kids love cheese. I'm using cheddar and Kobe Jack. You can use any kind of cheese your kids like. Put some cilantro in there. If you have tomatoes, put some tomatoes in there. Some avocado, anything would be good. Make it fun. 
Send it right down the center for the taquito. Add a little bit more salsa if you want to. Check this crunch out. Mmm. Get the crunch of the taco, taquito. The crunch of that romaine. The flavor of the meat is just off the charts with that cumin, sweet tomatoes, and all the other spices I put in there. Now, I made this recipe um, a couple of years back using uh, braised chuck roast, and I'll post a link in the description box below. Oh, let me try my mojito. Oh, yeah. This tastes like at least two more. Mm hmm. But anyway, like I was saying before I got distracted with my mojito. <laughs> um, you can make taquitos. I've made it with ground beef. I've made it with ground chicken, turkey, whatever you have on hand. Just make it taste good. This recipe will not disappoint. I will point. I will. Um, <laughs> I will post a recipe at the end of the video. Make sure you share it with everybody you know in the universe. Thanks for stopping by, and come back again soon. See what else is up. Check this out. You're going to love these. Mm. Have a great weekend.